These are the couchettes that I have picked from my garden. As you can see, the flower is still there and it's died off and it has produced the beautiful courgettes. There is nothing more satisfying than putting a seed in the ground and then the fruit coming out and you harvesting it yourself. For this meal, I will leave the skin on the courgettes. I will not peel it. I will start by cutting the courgette. You just take off the end bits. You slice it in the middle. And this is what it looks like. The reason why I'm leaving the skin on is because much of the goodness of vegetables is contained in the skin. Then I slice it again through the middle and then into smaller pieces. You can use as many courgettes as you believe is necessary for you and your family. If it's just you, just take one or two and if it's more, just take more. I start by frying the spices. I put one, two teaspoons of spices. Now this is an Indian inspired recipe. So the spices that I use here are Indian spices. It's used in different countries, but this mixture is called a masala. And the masala, what it contains is just ground turmeric, coriander, mustard, fenugreek, ginger, chili, black cumin. And a masala means nothing more than a mixture of rounded spices. So I am frying that first in some oil. In this case I'm using sunflower oil. Now when I'm frying this, the aroma and the taste of the spices come out. Then I'm frying some onions first. Coat the onions well and let it sweat in the oil and the spices. Now 
once the onions are done, you add the chopped garlic. Now don't cook it very long. At this point, you will start to smell the aroma of the fried onion and the garlic and the Indian spices. If you cannot find this masala, this mixture of spices, then you can buy the ingredients that I've named in an Indian or Asian shop. I will repeat the ingredients. They are turmeric, coriander, mustard, fenugreek, ginger, chili, black cumin. Just go to the shop, an Asian store or an Indian store and ask for these recipe, this, um, different spices or maybe they have it in a masala in ground form. Once the onion and garlic have fried a little bit, you add the courgette. Coat the vegetable well with the juice and the spices. At this point you can add some sea salt if you're allowed to have salt but don't use too much salt or you can use some soya sauce which is what I'm using for this today I'm using something called ketchup manis it means soya sauce as sweet soya sauce I prefer to use this because soya beans, as you know, have good health benefits. When I add soya sauce, I don't often add salt. Too much salt is not good for health. It can increase high blood pressure. So now you let the courgette, the onion and the garlic cook together. You may add, if you wish, a little bit of water. And you just let it cook and simmer. The idea is not to simmer it too long because we do not want to cook it to death. If you do that, many of the nutritional value of vegetables disappear when you cook it too long. So it's best to steam vegetables, cook it very short or to eat them raw. This is when you get the most benefit from vegetables. So it's not just about the taste, it's also about the nutritional value that you keep when you eat your vegetables. When the meal is done, all you need to do is just put it on your plate and eat it.
I'm using whole grain rice to go with it because as you have seen in my natural health tips about how to lower high blood pressure then one of the tips that I gave was to eat whole grain rice a few times a week and I did say that I was going to show you a recipe now this is one of the recipes that can help you lower high blood pressure so as you can see this is not white rice but whole grain rice I just cooked it in some water and I'm adding now the courgette meal that I've just made this is just a very short cooked courgette recipe to keep all the nutrition as much as possible in the vegetable doesn't this look gorgeous it's ever so easy but ever so tasty so if you have high blood pressure try using this and I'm adding the little bit of goodness juice left in the pan to go with this you can also add some quark as I mentioned in the episode about a tip how to lower high blood pressure you can use quark or you can use yogurt it goes very well with this meal just use a dollop of this on top of it if you don't like it too sour you can add a little bit a little bit of salt and if you wish a little bit of honey and what I personally also like is to put some ground almond you know sometimes on meal they put cheese well this is a variation on that I've just put some almond nuts in a blender and I have grounded it this adds to the nutritional value of what you're eating enjoy